Hello, this video will show you all the necessary steps to get your VMware Cloud Direct Availability Appliances upgraded to the latest version. First, let's review the upgrade path. If you are running VMware Cloud Direct Availability 4.1 or 4.2, you can directly upgrade to 4.3. But if your environment is on an older version, you need to follow this sequence strictly. 3.5, 4.0.0.2, 4.2.1, 4.3. There are a few options for upgrading. Use the official VMware repository, a custom repository or a directly mounted ISO file to the appliance host. Some of them are also available through the command line. All the possibilities are described in full detail in our upgrade guide. Along with following the upgrade path, there is one more consideration, the sequence of upgrading the VMware Cloud Direct Availability appliances. First, the Cloud Replication Manager needs to be upgraded, then all the attached Cloud Replicators, and last, the Cloud Tunnel. Please note that changes to the Cloud-side version of the appliances will require the tenants to run a supported version of VMware Cloud Direct Availability on-premises appliance. You can verify the supported versions in the VMware Interoperability Matrix. To upgrade from 3.5 to 4.0.0.2, we need to log in to the UI of each appliance according to the previously mentioned sequence and navigate to the configuration menu. At the bottom of the loaded page, we can specify the wanted repository. In this case, I'll use a mounted upgrade disk ISO to the appliance host, so I select Use CDROM Updates. Then I click on Check for Updates button and after a few seconds I see some are available. So I click on update, then accept the end user license agreement and start the upgrade. While it is running, the appliance is not reachable. Within a few minutes, the upgrade is completed and the UI is reachable once again. We need to log in and verify that everything was successful. Please note that after upgrading from 3.5 to 4.0.0.2, you will need to add a new license key as 4.0 and above require different licenses than 3 and 3.5. Make sure that you have obtained the correct license key before starting the upgrade. The steps are the same for all the appliances and need to be applied to each one of them according to the order mentioned earlier. For upgrading from 4.0.0.2 to 4.2.1, we need to log into the VMware Cloud Direct Availability Appliance UI and navigate to the configuration menu. Scrolling to the bottom of the page, we will see the current version and the Check for Updates button. When we click it, the upgrade menu opens. The first step is to choose the repository that will be used. In my case, it will be a mounted upgrade disk, so I select Use CD-ROM Updates. Next, we pick the target version based on the mounted ISO file. After accepting the end user license agreement, the upgrade can start. It takes a few minutes to perform all the actions and in the meantime the appliance is not accessible. Once the upgrade tasks are completed, the UI will reload automatically. We need to log in to verify that everything went smoothly and the version of the appliance is 421. The same steps need to be performed on the rest of the appliances by the mentioned order. VMware Cloud Direct Availability 4.2.1 and 4.1 as well allow a direct upgrade to 4.3. So if you are running one of these versions or you have just followed the upgrade path to 4.2.1, you can proceed with the final step of getting to 4.3. To get started, we need to log in to the VMware Cloud Direct Availability Appliance UI, navigate to Settings and scroll to the bottom of the page. There we will see the current version and the Check for Updates button. Clicking this button will load the upgrade wizard. In the first step, we have to select the repository. In this case, I will use the CDROM updates option. Next, we need to confirm the target version and start the upgrade right after accepting the end user license agreement. Originating from VMware Cloud Direct Availability 4.2, backing up the appliances is possible directly through the UI. It is highly recommended to create and download a backup of all the components before advancing. After we start the upgrade process, the appliance will be unavailable while it is finished. After that, the UI will reload automatically and we can log in to verify that the desired version is reached. Still, we need to perform the same steps on all the appliances.
After successfully upgrading all the appliances, we need to update the VMware Cloud Director Availability plugin for VMware Cloud Director. To do so, navigate to Settings, find VMware Cloud Director address and click Edit. Then re-enter the password and click the Apply button. And that's all. Our VMware Cloud Director Availability is now up to date. Thanks for watching.